Hey guys, I felt like I would do something a little different, so I'm gonna go over the 10 types of magic players you will see at FNM anime style. So this is Horo from Spice and Wolf, and she is a traitor. The first type of magic player at FNM that you're gonna meet our pre-release will be the one who says, Do you got trades? Do you have trades? Did I ask you if you have trades? Do you have trades? Trade? Trade? And this type of person, I don't even know if they play magic, but they sure do like trading and ripping people off. So, yeah, it's probably, I would use the term shark, but if someone's only there to trade, probably not a good person. Next is the net decker. So here we have LaRoche. I probably know most of these animes. The net decker is someone who absolutely must win. And to win, they're going to not have fun, they are not going to be nice, and they are going to play a deck that they found online, pay $500 to $1,000 for that deck to build it, and then win. Because they have a higher win percentage. They are also mo most likely to be a grinder, and... Think of magic as a income stream of some type. I'm just not exactly sure. Grinder. Now you have your two best friends, and this happens a lot. I go, I do hang out with my best friend quite a bit when we go to local tournaments or larger events in Dallas or mostly in Dallas, Star City Games. And yeah, your two best friends because you go together, you have someone to talk to, you have someone to find after you're done playing. I definitely go with my best friend to pre-release every single Saturday and maybe Sunday, game day. I go with my best friend, and your best friend is someone who plays Magic because they just wanna hang out with you. So love best friends, and if you have a best friend who plays Magic, that's fantastic. But typically they don't really talk to other people. Next, you have your group of Magic players. So during game day, every single game day, uh, so far, we go with a group of people and we just go to game day after game day after game day and try to get everyone to play mat. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. But it is a group of people that you can eat at Chili's or Popeye's or someplace kind of crappy at pre-release. And it's a group of people. I feel like four is a very good number. Uh, my group is around four. Or you can just go to locals and you don't feel, it's just a good time. Or you can even go to your home or you can they can come to your home and you guys can have some beers, some have some signer Bach, and then also draft. That's what I do with my fat packs, by the way. Next, you have Lonely Magic Player. The magic player who does not want to talk to anyone, who is, um, I guess, difficulty in socializing would be the nice way to say it. I like, I am a big advocate of going up to these players and introducing yourself, finding something that you like. You all like magic, but we've all seen the player who kind of sits at the corner uh, at my local game store. It's like close to the bathroom and it's kind of weird. Like I, I just don't want to go into too much more detail because I feel like I'm being mean, although I haven't, not trying to, but you do have your loner magic players. Next, you have your Gary Oaks. <laughs> Gary Oak is the magic player who has gone to one pro tour and believes they're the best magic player in existence. And if they ever lose to you, it's because they got mana screwed. They got unlucky. It wasn't because they misplayed the Snapcast Mage and they bounced back something that they shouldn't have bounced back. Nope, nope, nope. It was because you got lucky. And the Gary Oak player typically has supporters who pretty much spy on everyone else. I don't know how to say it, but they write down people's deck list. I mean, you would think, hey, it's a pre-release. Why would you do that? Gary Oak. <laughs> Gary blanking Oak. I mean, come on. Next, you have your, I believe this character is called Chirori. I do not watch uh, the anime, Nisekoi. And it's your very negative, like, it's like, why are you here? Like, you obviously hate magic, and you hate magic players. Why are you, are you at FNM? Why are you at pre-release? Like, you don't want to be here. It's clear to me that you just don't want to play, and you're in a bad mood, and you feel like you're superior in some way to 
you are the magic players why are you here uh, and this type of player i see quite often at one of my locals then i stopped going to that locals and life has been a lot less stressful i don't want to spend my fridays playing against this type of person next you oh it's not anime it's kind of a cartoonist figure next you have your cheaters who would do anything and everything in their power to win and that includes cheating they will lie to you they will take stuff from you they will pretty much make your life miserable to play against because no one likes being cheated and i think alex bertini is the best example of this i could not find a example in the history of the internet that was better than this guy where he says what is your misunderstood card explore occupation miss me and Star City Games, of course, being Star City Games, decided to publish his quotes. Exactly. Next, you have your new players. Your new players are, and this is actually a really good anime on Netflix, Dead Man Wonderland, I believe. Fa fascinating. I heard the books are very good. But your new player is someone who cries a lot and doesn't win very much and is always... I mean, it's just a new player. I, I can't really explain it. It's kind of like a new player for League of Legends or any other video game where they don't know how to play and they have to level up, if you will. But when they're leveling up, it's just, you know, they're not winning very much. It's that one player at your FNM who never wins. And they go to every FNM, but they just don't win. Next and lastly... You have your MTG celebrities. Uh, this could be a YouTuber. This could be a podcaster. This could be any amount of pseudo MTG celebrities. And this person comes in and expects people to know who they are and to respect them. And hey, I have you know a Twitch following of like 100 people. Why don't you know who I am? Hey, I have a YouTube channel of like 10 people. I'm pseudo famous worship me <laughs> this one was just kind of a joke for myself you guys know i like joking i don't know who this is by the way anyway bye